A thought on a lot of people's minds right now is if World War III starts, which it certainly looks like it might have already, will there be another draft? Well, let's talk about if you will get drafted for World War III. So you need to know that there are some parameters to consider, but you also have to understand that things change very quickly, especially when you're talking about a global conflict. So selective service is still active and a full military draft can still be authorized by Congress and the president. And if it's enacted, it would start calling registered men between 18 and 25 years old for duty. Now there's a lottery used based on birth date that starts with 20 year olds. So basically if World War III starts right now and they have to enact the draft, if you were born in 2002, you are likely going to be the first group of draftees. Now, Keep in mind that, yes, I'm out here on the range today and I'm training and I'm in my mid thirties and I still have to consider this because even though the draft is generally between 18 and 25 year olds, things have not always been that way historically. So because this is a World War III scenario that we're looking at, we have to consider what happened during World War II. Now in World War II, Congress rushed the draft age extension back on December 16th in 1941 to 18 all the way up to 64 years old. And the reason they did that was of course, because they had to ensure they could have enough manpower in order to be victorious. Exemptions were removed at the time as well, such as men with families. They were no longer exempt from the draft just because they had a family to support. And some previous health exemptions were actually re-examined just to make sure that eh, maybe this would work or maybe it wouldn't. So a lot of the previous exemptions also went away at that time. Now, in practice, only 18 to 45 year olds were actually drafted during World War II and they had to register um, all the way up until six months after the war was actually over. So if we go based off of World War II, you could be drafted all the way up to 45 years old, but we also know that they made it perfectly fine to draft all the way up to 64 years old as well. So either way, and this is only for men, they did not draft women then and they aren't drafting women now, but that could definitely change at some point in time. So just keep that in mind. Currently, if you're a woman, you're not really in jeopardy of being drafted. However, as a man, you have a likelihood of being drafted from 18 up to 25 for sure, possibly all the way up to 45, and with the slight possibility of even all the way up to 64, based on what happened during World War II, based on what's going on now. And of course the draft would only be enacted because right now we have a volunteer army, if they literally did not have the manpower in order to meet the demand for what they needed to do to accomplish their goal. So likelihood of a draft, you tell me. But at the end of the day, this is just something for you to consider because a lot of people, even myself included, might think, oh, I'm safe from the draft because, you know, I'm in my mid 30s and I got a family and all this stuff, so I don't really have to worry about it. Turns out, according to World War II, I would have been drafted no problem at all. So if you think that's a possibility for you or anybody else with that different age range or whatever it is, leave it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you think you will see a draft or if the selective service will have to turn the on switch back on if we see a real World War III scenario break out. Because at this point in time, it's becoming more and more likely every day. And with what's happening according to Russia as well as China, we're talking about multiple adversaries, which means they might need more people than what they currently have. Just wanted to bring this to your attention and that's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.